Hello there, it's James here. I'm um, just making a quick video because I'm doing something a bit different today. Uh, I don't know if you can see over there, there's flocks of Canada geese. Um, lovely. Anyway, uh, today I've been doing some work on the outside, so I've, uh, here you are, you can see because it's bright sun. Look at that, very powerful sun. Solar panels are doing amazingly, they're bringing in huge amounts of power. Um, so I've painted the cratch. Um, the wooden cratch cover and I've started uh, doing some blacking. I have to leave particular portions of the blacking in different areas so the cats can come in and out. You see the cats run up and down there so I'll have to do that when I've got something I can cover them up with. Talking of which, there is a cat. Hello. <laughs> so um, yeah this is, uh, see I've done a little bit of the the top surface along here and I've put these boards there in an attempt Yes, there you go. See, and that's why. Hey, Sheldon. Yes, blacking with cats. Um, so, anyway, uh, the other thing I've been doing is um, I've just been uh, emptying the bilge. I don't have an automatic bilge, um, so I um, I have to do it myself every now and again. Um, I, I I wondered about because <laughs> I, as you know, I've, I knew nothing about narrow boats when I bought one. Perhaps a little foolish, but um, I spoke to a man and uh, a professional, and he said not to worry about water in the bilge. That he used to own a hire fleet, and all boats had water in the bilge, so it's not something to be scared of. Um, just make sure you keep pumping it out, which is what I do here. So, this is in the engine, which is um, I don't know much about engines. Um, I've just had this is a um, BMC 1.5, which is apparently. A very very good reliable engine I've been told hailing from this particular one about 1970 um, it has just been completely well stripped and rebuilt um, you know earlier this year by a uh, man Rob who did a very good job um, um, you have to fill it with oil and all sorts of things just like and water just like a normal um, normal engine um, this is the fuel tank here, which has a, a little uh, dipstick, so you can see how much fuel you've got. Um, this shuts off the fuel tank. This is the exhaust hose. Um, these are the scuppers, I believe they're called. They hold the, hold the boards and they drain the water out. Um, in here, this is um, I can't, it's a weed trap, I think it's called. And basically, if your propeller jams up, you can unscrew it and you can have a look inside, see if there's weeds trapped in. But one thing to remember is that if you do not screw it back absolutely perfectly, you can sink your boat because you can get water, the propeller will throw water up and it will come out of the little cracks in here, the little where you haven't secured it quite right, and um, you will slowly and steadily accumulate water and without you knowing and your boat might sink, which would be <laughs> quite serious. Um, that's not actually petrol in there, I don't keep petrol in here, it's just um, bottles. Um, that's grease because um, just down here there's a little thing called a stern gland and that has to be um, greased at the end of every trip because it's um, it acts as sort of like a, a barrier between the water just out there and the engine in here and basically the um, you have to re-grease it after every trip to keep the seal nice and tight. Um, this was a spare fuel tank but we don't use it. Um, this is ballast. I was amazed at the amount of ballast in here when I, when I first got the boat. Yeah, you'll laugh. Oh look, here's Sheldon, come to help. Um, yeah, you'll laugh, I looked at all the ballast and go, God, that's not very efficient, is it? I should take all that out, it'll make the boat lighter and then it will, um, <laughs> and then it will cost less to run on diesel. That's not the thing to do. The ballast keeps the boat all uh, the right way up and all that, <laughs> not the right way up. You know what I mean, it keeps it uh, balanced. Sometimes you see boats where the ballast is off and they're all uh, tilted um, and things like that. Uh, so it does look um, a bit chaotic in there. Um, I do intend to give it all a big clean. Um, anyway, when I'm bilging, which is doing at the moment, you can see um, there's just in there, there's a little bilge pump and um, that I take off and connect to the battery, the new shiny battery, and then it um, uh, goes and 
in certain bays in the engine the water might be a bit oily because it's um, it's where well, some of the oil might drip out of the actual engine um, that water you don't bilge into the canal you need to build that separately and dispose of it somewhere uh, nice because you don't want to get all the wildlife um, oily okay so you can see it looks a bit chaotic but um, it's not it's an in this is a big engine bay and this that's not even the whole engine bay the engine bay extends all the way up to where you can see the cat flat there so it's really big relatively easy to work on I'm told but and I don't do a lot of work on the engine I I kind of feel that I should do things I'm good at and let a mechanic do what he's good at rather than me wallying around in it and breaking something uh, so anyway um, yeah that's the engine there's not much else to show you there probably is but I don't know about it so anyway I'll uh, show you what a nice day it is here it's a my Hermes depot over there and there's a wild Sheldon. Hello! She's a good cat. They have a lot of fun. Hello, you say goodbye? Ooh, Sheldon says goodbye. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, okay, uh, have a good day and I'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye bye.